Hey guys, welcome back to King's Outdoor Life. I haven't done many home improvement projects on video lately. I've done plenty, but uh, I don't know. I haven't been in the mood to video them, I guess, for whatever reason, just in a hurry. Get them done, move on. When, when you video them, it takes more time. Set up the camera, do this, move around. You got to think about it a little more. And I've just been blowing through it and not worrying about videoing. So thanks for tuning in today. We're going to do a handrails, uh, kind of, I guess what you call handrails, um, on the back balcony. If you remember back, you'll look back a few episodes. I don't remember what episode number it was. We put new treks out there that I hadn't got around to putting up the handrails because I really didn't know what I wanted to do. And I'm still not crazy about what I'm doing, but it's what I could find. And right now, ugh, things are hard to find. So anyway, I'm going to do it the way I think I want to do it, but it may not be the right way to do it, but it's the way I want to do it. So we'll see how it works. It may be that it's a totally wrong way, but Anyway, I'll let you know if it is. Hey, thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe, share with a friend. The first thing I did is mark these at 129 because that's how long I need them to be. Now we'll lay out the ballast. All right, so I got these round aluminum ballast, and they come with these little plastic, I don't know, inserts for lack of a better term. Anyway, so you basically screw those to the board, and then you slide these over those. You put one at the top, one at the bottom, and you'll put them together that way. So what I've done is, I've, I don't know if you can see my marks or not, probably not, probably best you can't see my marks. I put one every four inches, that way, rails will be less than four inches on center which is code and you know me mr safety i'm all about code but i think it's what looks good too so anyway so i've laid out all my marks now i gotta screw these little things one every four inches on both boards and we'll sock it together we'll have a top rail and a bottom rail all right if you look down through there you can see lawson and i got all 437 of those things screwed down there our efficiency was lawson went through there and put them all like this put the screw through the little plastic spacer thing that way all I had to do was pick it up and screw it to it you can see we ran a chalk line to mark center but the board is bowed so it wasn't on center so I had to kind of eyeball it and then put one on all of our marks and it didn't take but a, just a few minutes because Lawson like I said had them ready to go all I had to do was screw it to it let's put some uh, balusters on there we'll have a rail all right so a little trial and error here that we learned and that's the purpose of these videos is if you are watching this video on a how-to, here's a how-to. Lay it on a flat surface like this concrete floor and get it close to the right width apart. But you've got a half inch of play on each side. So you've got to just barely put it on each side of those little plastic pieces. And then once you get every single, we're gonna call them rung here, each of those balusters, rungs, whatever you're gonna call them, get each one on both sides of those little plastic things and that way they'll support themselves and hold themselves up and then slowly squish it together and hold it up then you can stand it up and whack it with a hammer and mash it down so now that i've got it all together and like i like it i'm gonna take just a scrap piece i had just a scrap piece of wood i'm gonna put it all across there diagonally and i'm gonna screw that to it to keep it from separating so I would recommend doing that maybe in a couple of places up through there. You wouldn't have to be on a diagonal. You could do just a couple of boards across there, and that way it's not going to separate. All right, we're going to screw this together, carry it upstairs, and screw it to the post. So can you tell that post is crooked? When I measured to put this last piece in there, I don't know if you can see it or not, I got a really good fit on it, but I didn't recognize the fact that the post was leaning. So I've got to notch that out so I can lean the post up straight. Well, 
we'll level up our post and put the, the uh, rail here up. I put a small two by four on edge to sit it on and that gets it the proper height off the deck or balcony in this case and that gets us 36 inches to the top of the rail which is code because you know safety first great view i hate that it obstructs my view but i understand you're supposed to have this all right now we gotta do these short sides and uh we'll be done So we have rail on all three sides. So if my insurance agent is watching this, please know we got the rail up. You can remove all the, um, whatever those things are called, limits of liability. We now have a rail on our balcony. So check out the coffee ledge. I got one more side, or I got these sides for the coffee ledge, but I'm running out of good daylight, so I wanted you to see this. So see, we've got coffee ledge, place to set your cup of coffee in the morning. And I'll show you what I did. I came around to the 45 on this outside here, notched it around the each of these posts, and a 45 on the outside there. So anyway, beautiful night sunset over the lake. Thanks for watching King's Outdoor Life. Have a blessed day.